Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing monkey branching versus grass is greener syndrome. I provide audio and email coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details, www.dateme.tips. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing monkey branching versus grass is greener syndrome. So these are two theories that I am often asked about. And hence I'd thought today that I would do a podcast where I compare and contrast both of them. It's important for me to say that these are my takes on the theories and that if you was to Google both of these concepts, you would likely find different points of view for both of them. So these are, of course, my take on the theories and I'm going to present to you why I think they are similar yet also different. So first of all, monkey branching. So monkey branching for me is when somebody is always looking to upgrade their relationship. So a monkey brancher can quite easily get into a relationship and get quite deep into the relationship and live a fulfilling relationship with both people enjoying it to the max. The difference is that a monkey brancher will always be looking to upgrade. It doesn't matter if a monkey brancher has been with somebody one month, one year or 10 years, they will always be on the lookout to upgrade. It is not that they aren't fulfilled, okay? During this relationship, they will be loving every minute of it if it is going in the right direction. The difficulty that lies within a relationship when one or both people are monkey branches is that there is always a possibility of them meeting somebody new in any circumstance in which they believe one way or the other could be, in their opinion, an upgrade on their partner. And there is no depth of feeling towards the concept of them actually leaving their current partner for somebody new. So even though they are living a fulfilled relationship, which does have a deep level of love, there is only a surface level of commitment So the monkey brancher can really make their partner believe that there is nothing that could possibly go wrong between them because a monkey brancher will really get in deep within the relationship. A monkey brancher will commit to the relationship, but their partner will just not understand that in the back of their mind, they are always open for upgrade. So this might mean that everything's going absolutely fantastic for years and years and years. They are married to their partner and that they might meet somebody through a hobby or an interest or anything where they could just mix with somebody new, get to know them very, very briefly and basically. And for whatever reason, it could be a physical attraction basis. It could be mental stimulation. It could be one of many possibilities. They might be thinking to themselves, you know what? I think this person is slightly better than my partner in one way or another. And therefore, I'm going to try and connect with them and hopefully be able to get into a new relationship with them and hence end the relationship with their current partner and just move forward straight away. So the problem that happens with monkey branches is that they can do this almost covertly. Like, and it's not even like they're thinking of it necessarily. You got to remember that this is going off in their subconscious. It's in the back of their mind. It's not that they're going out actually consciously planning to find somebody in their opinion better than their partner. It's just something that happens automatically. And because they don't have a depth of feeling for commitment, This will mean that even though they are in a committed relationship, in inverted commas, you know, they might even be married, all this is surface level for them. They will not put any stock in the length or the depth of their relationship. You know, they could quite easily just move on with somebody else, even if there is so much history and there is so much passion within their current relationship. If they just think they can slightly upgrade, then they will consider that option and they will try to make it happen. 
Imagine that you have a mobile phone that you're really, really happy with. There is no problem whatsoever. And then you find out the new version of that mobile phone is coming out next month. And you find out that it is only very slightly better. There are only very few new features attached to this phone. And in all reality, there is no need for you to upgrade. Okay, there's no need for you to have the hassle of upgrading. You're very happy with your phone. It's working fine. It suits your needs. It is very good for you. But this shiny new phone, which is only ever so slightly better in one specific way, even though it's going to cause you a lot of stress and pain and hassle to get it because you're going to have to pay more for this new phone. You're going to have to get a new, more expensive contract. Well, if you was a monkey brancher, you wouldn't even consider keeping with your current model you'd be thinking no i'm upgrading i don't care the great times we've had together i'm not bothered that i'm gonna have to pay the price for upgrading for just a few minor things i'm not going to be bothered about the history i've shared with this phone i'm just going to upgrade straight away that is how a monkey brancher sees a relationship it's very, very hard to understand if you were with a monkey brancher, the best way is to possibly look back at their relationship history when you were talking things through as, as new couples do. And if you find out that they have had lots and lots of relationships, some of which were long term. See, that's the clue. It's not just about them having lots and lots of short term relationships or flings. It's about them having lots and lots of relationships that lasted quite a while, a year or more. And you're thinking, why are you always ending these relationships? You know, why aren't you kind of working through them and that is when you can sometimes spot a monkey brancher so what is grass is greener syndrome well grass is greener syndrome can seem in some respects very very similar to monkey branching grass is greener syndrome is where somebody is always considering that the grass could be greener on the other side okay they're always considering that the grass is greener than what they're already experiencing the difference is that there will not be any type of commitment with grass's greener syndrome. So from what I can gather through the research that I've done, somebody who is suffering from true grass's greener syndrome will actually acknowledge this more than a monkey brancher. And hence, they will not actually commit, whether it's surface level, whether it's deeper level, they will not commit. So you could be with somebody and you think things are going well. You think that you are experiencing a good time together. You've got a lot in common, possibly. You're very attracted to each other. Maybe you're enjoying intimacy. You're having a great life together. But every time you were trying to showcase some actual commitment, you may be trying to make yourselves really official as boyfriend and girlfriend, or maybe that has happened but your partner will not even consider moving forward. They won't consider moving in with you. They won't consider getting engaged even after quite a while. That is a sign of grass is greener syndrome because if they were a monkey brancher, they would actually go through with this. Okay, they would get married theoretically. But grass is greener syndrome, that is very unlikely to happen because they will actually be consciously be acknowledging that they believe the grass is greener. They are almost saying that they are just treading water with you. They might be enjoying their time with you at this moment, but they fully believe on a conscious level that they will find somebody better for them. And hence, they just won't show any commitment. They will show no commitment at all to the connection. They might possibly become boyfriend-girlfriend with you, but they will not consider going further than that. They're very unlikely to move in with you, and they certainly will be unlikely to consider marriage. So what can we consider when we're looking at both of these theories? When we look at monkey branches, we realise that they could leave us at any moment. When we're looking at grass's greener syndrome, we realise that they are unlikely to want to take things further with us. How can we avoid people who are showcasing these type of qualities? Well, it's very, very hard. Because as I said, monkey branches can hide this quite deeply within them. You want to be looking back at their relationship history to some respect. Grass's greener syndrome can't really 
be looked at when you consider their previous relationships because this is specific to you and them. This isn't something that they will necessarily have used when they were with a previous partner. This is very much with yourself and that is why it's a lot more personal and hurtful because they are basically saying that they just don't really feel that you are a good fit for them on a very committed level, even if in the past they have been able to commit. So you just need to be considering what is being said between you to try to uncover grass's greener syndrome. That is the best way for you to understand whether somebody is possibly suffering from this when they are with you. When we look at the long-term possibilities between a monkey brancher and grass's greener syndrome, this is where things differ again. People who are true monkey branches are really going to be having this as part of who they are. Now, this can be worked through, especially if they are understanding there is something that's going on with them. Okay, if they can understand that they are experiencing this and they are living a life where they always feel that they are wanting to upgrade even if it's the most minor reason and even if they're quite comfortable in throwing away long-term committed relationships, if they can acknowledge this is something they're experiencing, then they can work through this, especially with therapy. It is very possible for somebody who is a monkey brancher to actually understand what they're going through and learn that it is worthwhile to actually try to stick to a committed relationship and not throw everything away just for a minor upgrade in their opinion, which might not even really be a minor upgrade, you know, once we actually get with this new person. Now, if somebody is suffering with grass is greener syndrome, this is a situation where if you are with somebody who is showcasing grass is greener syndrome, you need to understand that this is something which could actually change, but only when they've experienced their new life after you. So Grass's Greener Syndrome is where, as I said, somebody is very unlikely to commit on any deep level with you. However, if they then meet somebody else and vanish into the sunset with them, if this doesn't work out, there is a very good chance that they might be able to consider oh my gosh, I've made a huge mistake. The grass isn't greener and I want my ex back. And you will find people who suffer from grass is greener syndrome trying to contact their ex again in the future if a dumpy has behaved appropriately. And that's why I always say to people, check out my other podcasts that I've done to give yourself the best chance of trying to get your ex back if you are a dumpy. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications of my content and my live streams. So whereas somebody who is going through a relationship with somebody who has grasses green syndrome, it's very surface level. They might be boyfriend, girlfriend, but there is certainly nothing deeper than that going on. Their partner then disappears into the sunset. They're showcasing that grasses greener syndrome. But the dumpy can consider the fact that there is a good chance that they might realise the grass isn't greener and they may one day return. But what about a monkey brancher? Might they return? Well, absolutely a monkey brancher dumper could also realise that they've made a huge mistake and want to try to get back with their ex. However, you need to consider that monkey branching is more of a deep-rooted issue, in my opinion. And if they are a true monkey brancher, they are just as likely, even if they get back with a dumpy, to once again try to find somebody even better. So be really, really careful. If you see somebody who has a relationship history which showcases monkey branching behavior, even if they want to try to get back with you, please consider that if they have not worked through their own thoughts, feelings, and understanding what is going on with themselves, they are very much likely to one day try to, in their words and in their opinion, upgrade again. So in the long term, looking forward, whether a dumper will get back in touch with a dumpy, I would say that although both monkey branches and grasses green syndrome sufferers may try to get back in touch with a dumpy, the likelihood is that grass is green as syndrome sufferers are more likely to be able to connect long term with the dumpy because if they do come back, they are more likely to have understood the error of their ways because it was just an instance between you both. They've gone away. They've realized the error and they are likely to understand and respect you more. Somebody who is a monkey brancher is likely to always be a monkey brancher and always wanting to upgrade. And the likelihood is they've wanted to go back to the dumpy because the person they left them for 
they have decided actually was not quite as high grade as their ex, as Badum P, and hence they just want to go back with them. But that will just be until they find the next upgrade. So if you believe that this podcast has helped you, please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get them back. Or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah. Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight. Bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice. Helping with your love life. Get your ex back or move to the next. Ain't no sweat. You know Vincent Bo got you. Finding love ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips. Check it out now.